What is up guys? This is Narendra. Today I will explain few easy Photoshop tips and tricks to master in Photoshop. Photoshop is an easy tool to use and a difficult one to master. Most of these tips were originally published in Practical Photoshop magazine. So here are the best Photoshop tips whether you are using an older CS version or the very latest creative cloud software. I have grouped them by category make it easier for you guys to find the stuff that is most relevant to your work right now. But be sure to check them all in the part wise videos. Let's get started. The first tip I am going to explain is easier marquee selections. So here as I am pointing here on the tool this is a uh, marquee tool. If you click and hold on the tool uh, you can see the different type of tools here. So at present I am uh, selecting rectangular marquee tool here. For reference I am opening an image which is a copyrighted free image. Uh, before using the uh, image you need to open the lock. Just click on the lock on top of the layer. It is going to release the layer. So now you can start editing the uh, image. So uh, when you are using this tool hold down Alt to start a selection at the center point with any marquee tool and then hold space to temporarily move the selection around in the canvas. So when you uh, when I am selecting this image I am holding Alt. As you can see when I hold Alt it is capturing to the corner. So at present I am holding it and I am releasing it now. So you can see the difference here. So hold Alt and hold space. You can see I can move the selection and I can even select the whole area and it's not going out of the canvas. So this is a tip where you can select a particular margin and area while you can uh, move the selection in the canvas. So to unselect the area you can hold or you can press command D in Mac and control D in Windows. So let's move on to second tip. Second tip is undo. So I'll uh, I'll tell you how to undo history. So if you did a mistake while you are working on some project, uh, this tip helps you a lot. So by mistake, I uh, I erase the whole picture. So you can just print uh, uh, press Control Z. You probably know that a command or Control Z is undo, but you may not know. Command or Control plus Alt Z lets you undo more than one history state. So this is a first history, and this is a second, and this is third, and this is fourth. So when I press Control Z, it only repeats the fourth one. So that's the latest history. So when you pr uh, when you press Command Alt Z on Mac, it it removes the whole history, like whatever the changes you did, the changes you don't want to, you can undo it by pressing command alt z so let's get on to the third tip is where you can increase your history so when you uh, when you install uh, a software for adobe photoshop first you can use only 20 history undos so this software is going to record only 20 history changes whatever what you did more than 20 it's going to delete it's not going to remember it so now we are increasing the performance of the software where we are going to increase the uh, history rate of Adobe Photoshop. I will show you how it is going to run. So go for Photoshop CC, Preferences and General. Shortcut key is Command K on Mac and on Windows is Control plus K. Here is a window called Preferences. In these preferences, you need to increase your performance of the software. By clicking on performance, you can see here there is a history status. So now I can increase till 1000. 1000 is the maximum, guys. You can't increase more than 1000. So 1000 or, or below 1000, yeah, you can put 500 or 800, 900 or something, but not more than that. So 1000 is a uh, maximum history state which um, Adobe Photoshop is providing. So after, uh, after entering 1000 you can enter OK. So now from the point where you enter the 1000 whatever the work you are doing it is going to record. 
So after working on the project, then you, if you add thousand history status, it, it's not going to take the data. So first you need to add the history state to the thousand, then you need to work so it's going to remember the data. So let's move on to fourth tip, cycle blend mode. So for this, uh, to explain, I'm taking one layer. So here, as you can see, created one new layer and I'm adding some new color here. So I added some dark blue. Select the main layer. You can see here there is a mode. There are different type of modes where you can change in the shortcut, like without using mouse or without going and selecting this particular area. You can just press shift plus or minus. Shift plus, it's go, it goes down. Shift minus and it comes up. It's like you're adding a mode here and you're deleting that mode. So this is cycle blend modes guys. Um, putting it back to normal. So the another thing, the best and the easiest tip which you can use in Adobe Photoshop and it makes your work more easier. There's a fifth tip I'm going to talk about here. It's called bird's eye view. So what this tip going to do? When you zoom in while you work on the project, so this is a, this is a zoom I'm doing and I want to capture high eyes or capture hair or do some digital painting when you're doing some work. Suddenly you want to go and look at the full picture. So most of the guys they move with uh, hand like pressing uh, spacebar, holding spacebar and they move ho whole canvas. So instead of doing that you can hold H and you can click and you can select the particular area wherever you want and wherever you want to have a look. So this, this part of area I want to work on and this part of area I want to change and this part of area which uh, where I want to add some background. So just, uh, just hold H and you can view the whole canvas at a time and then you can, when you release a H, it automatically zooms in the particular selection area. So these are the five awesome tips guys to get started with, uh, with Photoshop. This makes, you, makes your work more easier and you can become a master in no time. Thank you so much guys. And I'll be explaining more tips and tricks in part wise. Please do follow. Please subscribe. Comments are appreciated.